Y'all, I'm about to tear this camera up my phone i'm about to throw it because this is my third time filming this video about what's in my kit oh my gosh for some reason it keeps turning the video sideways and i don't know how to prevent it so we're gonna help and pray that it's fine this time it's your girl jasmine denise back with another video and as you can see and by the title it's about my lovely meal kit and we're gonna dive on in because i'm tired of repeating the same thing for now the third time so as you can see is opi the majority of the stuff inside is opi products so we're gonna look what's in my kit and before we do that if you have not done so already please hit the subscribe button right there right there please hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the, go ahead and comment i don't even care if you just comment dot 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 i don't even care just do whatever but anyways we're about to jump right in to this video Ooh. and i'm on my bed so don't mind me so of course opening the kit it's pretty small compared to you probably seen other videos of people nail kits so it's pretty probably small maybe equal to maybe bigger than i don't know uh but everything in here is opi products the first thing on top is the finger bowl and this is just for like manicures it goes like this you fill with water soap whatever um it's plastic so yeah i don't really care for it but i will use it for my state board um this is directions on how to apply uh acrylics and stuff like that it shows you the three ball one b five b method and a whole bunch of hoopla yeah so there's that all right i don't know what this is but we're just gonna toss that to the side gently now getting into it i have to place everything back in here because i filmed this twice i pulled it out and i had to put it back in not just because i was done with the video i had to put it back in to redo the video so here's the kit everything as you can see is opi products so we're gonna go ahead <coughs> and start with this big boy which is the opi nail liqueur top this side of i guess it don't have an exact name okay so, but this comes with a red polish that like I will have to use at state board. So here's the red polish. It's pretty nice. Uh, this is a nail brush cleaner. So uh, yeah, so I, I will use this a lot. Hopefully it's really good. But this is a brush cleaner for like your acrylics and stuff or whatever. And then this is Bond X. It's it helps with um adhesion of acrylic nails and whatever so that's the kit that comes with it now as you can see it's a lot of little stuff in here so you see there's little toe dividers little feet dividers whatever you want to call them and they of course opi brand now we're gonna get into gotta do this one. okay this is like your hand sanitizers like your swiss hand guard uh it says gel but it's hand sanitizer so yeah and it's for like when you're about to take a client regardless if they wash their hands but before they even came in you could still instead of them actually washing their hands you can use hand sanitizer as well as yourself to make sure you guys are doing it properly sanitized and ready to go to not spread uh microbes or anything bad during your procedures and stuff like that so there's that this is cuticle cream which is like um a cuticle remover a cuticle softener this is what you play place on the nail plate let it sit for a while uh this is something you don't it's better to do it during manicures like when your hands are already soaking into like that finger bowl that i had in the beginning if you put this on the nail plate let it sit for a little bit and then take your uh cuticle pusher it can scrape off the cuticles a lot easier so that's what it is 
And if you're noticing, like, why do you only have one hand? It's because I'm recording with my phone. I'm using my other hand. So, yeah. I'm not fancy like a lot of these other YouTubers yet. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. And it comes with, like, a little dropper. So, yeah. That's what it looks like. So, yeah. There's that. So, next, we're going into... Hmm. Okay. So, this is a cuticle oil. It comes with like a little dropper. Um, it don't have a smell. I don't remember it having a smell. I already used it, but I just put it back in the box when I was in nail school so I don't lose it or so it don't break or anything. So here's a uh, cuticle oil. So there's that. This is Bond Aid. This is another like uh, adhesion of acrylics. And as you see, it says gels, acrylics, tips, nail core, and more. So this is like uh, a dehydrator type thing so yeah there's that uh you could get different brands this is just opi's bond day i'm gonna try this and hope my nails stick better because now i'm having problems with like lifting you probably don't notice this in the videos but some of them are kind of lifting like that's why my pinkies popped off so easily so yeah there's that they give you a nail brush which you can use for your client when they're washing their hands to make sure they get everything off or just for you to clean off your implements, which is like your nail clippers, nail nippers, and stuff like that, and to clean off debris off the, your uh, client's fingers. So this is what these for. You can use it for multiple uses. Uh, some people say single use. Uh, some people use it for multi-use. If you're gonna do multi-use, you're just doing the same thing as um, sanitizing it and then disinfecting it and putting it into your uh, uh, disinfectant solution and, and it's clean i see a lot of uh, nail techs doing that online and i even asked my um, instructor and she said that's fine some people just i, I just think it's wasteful you're just going to keep constantly using these just one time like i think that's ridiculous but yeah now going back in um, we have two different brushes uh we're gonna start with this brush this is for the odorless monomer it's a little different so this is the brush for the odorless monomer only so there's, this is what it looks like i'm trying to as you can see it without the glare i didn't even take it out yet this is the regular acrylic brush as you can see it's so little i think it's a size eight but sheesh it's still little like it looks like a painter brush like compared to my number 10 brush like it's probably still little to a lot of y'all but i like this i think this is a size i will prefer but it's my number 10 kalinsky brush so there's that yeah past those brushes um here's a plastic cuticle pusher i hate these things so much but they can get the job done too so if you like these kudos i hate these things so yeah uh the next thing is nail polish remover this is not the strongest i feel like this is probably the best thing you can use because i'm like there's acetones that will literally tear your acrylics up because it's so strong this one i don't think is that strong like it take the polish off but it's kind of a struggle so i like this it's pretty cool so it, it gets the job done i'm not too tripping about it so yeah there's that this is a, I'm pretty sure, a two-way buffer. Yeah, this is a two-way buffer because only two sides. I don't see anything else. Yeah. So, yeah. So, they have our buffer. So, this helps with, like, the shine if you want to make your nail shiny or whatnot. So, yeah, there's that. It comes with this. I would continuously buy this till the day I retire doing nails because this could act as a base coat a top coat and a strengthener guys it dries so freaking fast like it don't take long to dry at all and it's expensive because I went into Sally's and I saw it in there and it's for like $17 I'm like are you freaking kidding me but I feel like it is worth it it's like if you don't feel like buying a separate base coat and top coat and whatever then just buy this it's literally a three in one it's actually i like it so i think it's pretty good and this is like for like regular polish not for like gel polish for like regular polish and stuff or just you want to clear coat on your fingernails so i think this is really good 
Um, I just threw in regular gloves from school. Then I have my absolute acrylic monomer. This is your regular monomer, so it ain't nothing special. It's absolute by OPI. So there's that. Uh, these two. Oh, these two are your odorless monomer. So it's not that strong smell that you always smell in like nail salons. It's very, very, uh, very muted. The smell is muted. Oh shoot. But yeah, there's these, right? Like Clarite or Clarite, Clarite. I'm gonna go with Clarite and it's OPI still. Uh, you get two dipping dishes where you can put um, acetone, alcohol, or your monomer in so that's why i give you two of them and stuff like that uh they give you two different nail clippers one is like the regular one that you were using like uh uh during a client and then this one could be like your one on your keychain or whatever or you can use it as your client but it's so little so i don't know why you would but yeah and this is really good because you're supposed to have like two sets of implements so like while you're having continuous clients you can disinfect while you already have a set of implements already ready to go so this is really good so yeah they also give you another metal pusher mine is better looking than this one but it gets the job done i don't know what this side i guess this helps i don't know i don't think i would use that side but yeah this is the side you use to scrape up at your cuticle it's very lightweight and yeah there's that Yes, we have a foot file, which gets a dead skin. These suck. I don't think I would use these. I'll probably use it on myself, but I would never. Like, if I was to do pedicures on I would not use this kind. Of. Like, it, I would use the one that have like, this on one side and the one kind of scrub on the other. Because the scrub actually gets the dead skin and calluses off. Like, no joke. This is nothing, but whatever. Uh, going in, we have our nail nippers. They give you um, OPI nail nippers. Not my favorite because this thing keeps falling all the time, so it's kind of annoying trying to nip and it just falls. But yeah, they give you nail nippers. They're pretty sturdy, so they're pretty good or whatever. There's keys to the kit, and then there's a wooden pusher, uh, which you can use to like put cotton on the end to clean the free edge and stuff like that or push back cuticles i wouldn't use it to push back cuticles i would use my metal pusher it'd be a lot better i'm gonna give you a file they only give you one uh this is a 180 slash 400 this side is the 180 as you can hear it and this is the 140 listen to the sound so the lower the number the more coarse the file is the higher the number the more fine it is so this is the 400 size, very smooth, and the 180. It's like, it's still kind of smooth, but it's more coarse. Like, you can feel a difference. Uh, yeah, this is what you use for a manicure because you're not supposed to use, I think, anything lower than 100 grit on natural nails just because it tears up the nail too much. So when you're doing, like, acrylics and you know you had to take the shine off, I would use, like, a 180. This would probably be really good. Or even, I don't know about a 400, but... 180, 240 for your natural nail to get the shine off. Anything else, do not do it. Uh, even though I do it, fakes. But yeah, they only give you one. It's so stupid. They give you nail forms, which I uh, need to start working on. I actually like it. We did a little bit uh, last time, but there's that. They give you like they give you a good amount, so it's actually pretty good. Um. Here's some, these are the Clarite, the smaller ones are the Clarite uh, powders, the polymers for the monomer. Uh, this is for the odorless, this is odorless. One is in sheer pink and one is in simply natural, which is probably like a, that, it's like the whitish off yellow kind of color, like natural nails color. So these are the two monomers. Uh, I think these are like refill capsules because one says sh but this a spa white and then this one says sheer pink so i guess these are like refills and more modern um, polymers not monomers. uh this is nas 99 i'm not i'm pretty sure this is like 
a cleansing thing like if you was to accidentally cut your client with one of the stuff you just spray this on them it's supposed to help with cleanings but i'm not 100 percent sure so don't quote me all right next we have nail glue which is thin set i don't know if this is good but we're gonna find out so yeah this is supposed to be nail glue Um, and these are the different acrylics for the regular monomer. This is perfect white. This is crystal clear, which I'm going to see the difference between this one and the one I've been using. I've been using, I think it's you and I dip powder clear. Granted, just because it's dip powder does not mean it's not acrylic. You can use all dip powders as regular acrylic. So you be like, oh my god, that's dip powder. I can't use it, but the color is so pretty. Yes, you can. It's literally just acrylic. They just slap dip powder as the name. There's nothing different about them. You can use any acrylic as a dip powder. Okay? All right. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. And then this one is in translucent pink, which is like your very light pink, which a lot of nail techs use as their base color when they're doing stuff. Um, and then coming to the side of my kit, we have a dropper. Um, you can use anything. I guess you can use this from uh, uh, for your monomers. So like, you just take your dampen dish, and you're not supposed to put a lot of liquid in there just because you don't want a lot of the fumes to get out, and you don't want to waste product. So say you take your dropper, put it in your monomer, squeeze put it over so it could be more accurate instead of pouring and you actually pour too much or whatever and then stuff like that and you can use that you can use it for different purposes but that's one way you can use it uh i have random cotton i threw in here so yeah and, ah! Whew, the little tip of the little car port cardboard thing stabbed me Am I bleeding? No, I'm good. All right. I think this is <coughs> silk wrap, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is silk wrap stuff. Because at first I thought it was like a little, but this is kind of thick. So if I'm not mistaken, this might be silk wrap to do silk wrap nails. And please tell me who uses silk wrap nails. I want to know because I was like, I feel like this is more extra work. Cause you gotta shape it to your nail and you gotta put it on and it's like it's just too much it's just too much it's just too much and we gotta use that for freaking state board i think that's what it is they give you also full well tips it comes with 20. uh uh everybody's different if you use this for your clients or you're not you can use this on yourself honestly but yeah these are full well full wells because you know how uh, a lot of the tips you see would come like in this half well like it does that little thing this is a full well because all the way down so there's that and last but not least is last is our three-way buffer uh it's three ways so each side is different for something so yeah and it's opi and you know what's crazy a lot of this we can't even use like files and stuff at state board just because it has opi on it like we literally have to like figure out or not figure out buy stuff that don't have brands on it so they don't think we're cheating what but yeah that's everything guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, maybe your nail kit is probably way better you're probably surprised at what i got overwhelmed underwhelmed but anyways that's it thank you for watching please subscribe like and comment if you have not done so already and like i said again subscribe and if you i don't know what i was about to say but go ahead and subscribe to your girl <laughs> bye before I put them in a trance I'm in my yak I'm on that yak